All right, X-Trail fans, we're at Dave's garage. And today we're going to build and install a new spare wheel tow hitch rack. Stay. So this is our design and we are at stage one. Of course, we bought a whole bunch of new stuff and new stuff. And we're just fitting now, rebolted a hitch mount thingy. And it's the wrong size hole. <laughs> it's not the wrong size hole. It goes right through. It's just not lining up. It's not stuff. lining up. So I told you to use a center punch, but you didn't listen to me, did you? Uh -huh. I said use center punch, but then you just went for it. Yep. It's fucking. Have a look on the other side. Is it way right out? There. No, it's right there. Right there. It's annoying that it's right there. Oh, I just hit it with a hammer. <laughs> At least it'll it'll. Close. You gotta be there and then you gotta be up and back. Yeah, I'm No, on. you're way out, you're that three mil out there. Okay, okay after some gentle persuasion. Gentle persuasion, let's call it. We have managed to realign those holes and in bang. Stage one. Stage two now we're drilling through another 44 mil to go through to the other side. And we're going to put our pipe through the other side. All right, so we've got our hole Woo -hoo, all the way through. Hello. We're going to put the pipe in and they're going to do a weld either side. So this is going to be a weld, pull it back. It's going to be a weld here and a weld on this side. Then this is going to go over to a knuckle and then it's, we're going to return it and then do the paper clip. You down with that? Let's do it. Weld this on. What we're going to do now, we've got our precision leveling tool. <laughs> we've got our uh, woodworking plastic craft right level. And then the part's going through. So this is where we're rolling right now. We haven't, we should tighten this up actually. And then we'll get a better level, won't we? Or oh, watch out, it's a little bit too technical. If we tighten this up. Oh well, that's fucked. Okay, we're just tightening up the little do ding dong underneath there. If this was a magnet level, that'd be so much better. I had one. But I don't know where Why it's don't gone. you have one of these yet? I spend too much time working out other people's stuff, don't it? Now this is to... now this is assuming. Let's do that again. This is assuming. Why is that still running and bouncing around? I have no idea. You got it in a hole. Okay, so I've had my Dave on the floor. For the first time. Everyone should get a Dave. They're the best tool ever. No, uh, they wear out too Okay, that's, we're, we're basically bung on that level. I mean, if I hold the camera a certain way. Let me just do a slight adjustment on my micro adjusting tool here. I'll, uh, I'll do my- Oh, do it. I'll do my Brazilian fucking <laughs> concrete wax. <laughs> and, it's just harder to get up, that's all it is. And well, look, bang on. I'm happy with that. Now this is presuming the car is actually level at this stage. <laughs> but it doesn't look too bad. We're ironing it out and it's fine. It's just two blokes in a shed. We're not, we're okay, not, so now we're we're not gonna, fabricators. We've got to measure where the knuckle's gonna end. That'll be for your door. I'm gonna, we'll cut this, we'll tack the knuckle, we'll tack this. We've yep. got stage one complete. Yep. Then we'll do the, the paper clip, our first time on the bender. Let's <laughs> do it. Okay, so we are now tacked tacked and got the bottom of the knuckle tacked and you won't believe this despite all of our measurement look how nice a level that is bang ignore this part that's not level but this part's level and we're just hoping that the garage floor is level so that's stage and the car i'm going to say that stage two complete stage three is assemble the knuckle we're gonna bring the next pipe, measure the next pipe out, and we're gonna put a bend in, in here somewhere. And it's gonna become the start of the, uh, let's call it paperclip. Let's call this the paperclip tow bar hitch. Please. All right, so we've adjusted the thing now. So this one's gone. What we're gonna do now is, can you hold that? What we're gonna do now is, we've got the, the tow hitch receiver, the pipe going through, to the knuckle bit, not to scale. This is, what would I say it was? 96, 
I'm going to do one pipe this way, go up, come, oh, that's the wrong one, this way, go up, come down, and then back to the knuckle. You're not even... <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Sorry, I was watching you. I wasn't even... Redraw this real quick. So we've got the receiver. We've got one of the... The bottom bars goes out to the, what do you call that thing? Swivel knuckle or something. Mm -hmm. And that's the receiver. Then we're going to, this is going to be the paper clip. Around, I don't know our parameters of the actual bender. Bang. You know what I'm saying? How good would that look? And then I'll put our receiver, our tire thing here. And I also want to do a little kink in here, so it kind of goes up. <laughs> Is that going to be too hard? Let's see. Or we're going to bring the things up. So we've just uh, we've just assembled our uh, bender that we bought from CD Tools, and we're going to bend one of these five marks. <laughs> Literally, there's five marks there actually, and we want to hit a ninety. So, do you step it? We should watch a video on bending bars first. Let's watch a video on bending bar bars you first. You can watch a video. All right, after now, I think it's been 14 and a half hours. I think we've done 600 meters of MIG welding thing. We've used eight cutting discs and 19 grinding discs. We've gotten to here. I'm not gonna give you too close a view because and I'm not going to stop the camera because uh, it's probably not as level as it could be, but I think once the tire's on, it'll look pretty good. If we can do a... Uh, can I touch this? Is this hot? Yeah. That's hot as fuck, but we'll give it a go. That swings out nice. We'll put a locking pin and a strut in there. Door opens. Bang. He's holding it with the light because everything is still fucking hot. All right, so that's stage two tacked up. Finish the full weld. And from this angle, Dave, actually looks really good. <laughs> Didn't tell you, Just when I get closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right from, from a distance. I like the, the video is only going to be 16 minutes long, but it took us four and a half hours, so. <laughs> In reflection, if you want to do this DIY job, just buy it direct from that guy online. <laughs> Don't pull us. But actually, once it's all dipped in underbody stuff, it's going to look great. You want to hold the tire there as a... Oh, and then you got a little place on the top for the number plate. Bang. Love it. Love it. Well, here we are back at Dave's garage. Just lining up now. Our, uh, oh shit, it's about to crack my head. Just lining up now our tailgate, swing away, tow hitch, wheel carrier, whatever you want to call it. And we, I don't want to opt for any locking mechanisms on the way out, so we're doing a big gas strut. And we are using um, precision and Guestimate. guesstimations, <laughs> uh, and we're, we're marking up this gas strut to lock in. And I want to be just past 90 because I haven't told Dave this yet, but I really would like to bend that little kink in these two, like just to give it a little. It's not happening. It'll happen. We'll figure it out. So, um, so yeah, so this is where we're at now. We've got that on. We've got our knuckle on. We've got our swing on. Um, the whole kit so far only weighs 16 kilos, which is, oh shit. Uh, that's, that's not, that's because it's, not in the not in the vice properly it was. yeah but i just pulled it out of the vice but that's um oh yeah that's it make it tight vice tight yeah how sexy is that all right stay tuned here we are sports fans back at the tailgate but i just wanted to point out my 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 learned friend here Fuck show off. me your glasses Fuck off, show me your glasses one time <laughs> They're broken. Either his glasses are crooked or his head's crooked. I reckon my head's crooked. Going, are you going to do this or am I? 
Are we just guesstimating this hole again? Yeah, we're just going to guesstimate. That looks pretty guesstimated to me. Gee, that's loud. All right. I did that so the phone wouldn't take it. So we're going to drill a uh, hole in here. We're going to rib nut it. We're going to do another hole where we marked it underneath here. We're going to rib nut that and moving on. We've installed the gas strut, all by eye of course. <laughs> and now <laughs> we've got a self opening. Just give it a little nudge. It's not bad. It'll go slower with the wheel on it though. I think yeah. it'll go sl much slower with the wheel on it. But. Otherwise, worst case scenario is we put a smaller strut. this is the problem. But again with the. Again, with the wheel on it, I think you might have a bit more weight behind it, you know? I'm thinking we might have to go from a 500 down to a 300. What is this one? 500, 500 new? 500 new. Well, I mean, that does sound excessive. It is excessive. It's probably way too excessive. Hey, look, at least you know it won't, it won't move. It won't move when it's open. It won't move when it's open. It just might decapitate right. you or... No, no, no. It'll be at the yeah. height to smash you in the nuts, no, actually. Look at this. You could drive with it open. <laughs> Probably, you're right. We'll leave it like that for now. Leave if it not, like that for now. Okay, so... If not, we'll go to a smaller... Next stage is we're going to clean up this end. Yeah. Put a cap on it. Yeah. We're going to tidy up some of these horrible welds I did. Yeah. And we're going to put a pin to close it somewhere. I think we're going to need something for this to butt against. So I can push, push it up against it? Yeah. Yep. And I reckon it will stay. You look, it's staying once you get something to, yeah, yeah. to hold it. So whether or not we pop, we, pop a, we pop a spring pin straight into here. Yeah, or into we here. could, but we just got to watch how where your recovery thing goes. We could get, we could get something in there. We could pop it in actually across that right, the whole thing yeah. if you want. So what have I got for you? I'll find the pin thing. All right. Well, um, I'll cut that top off and get that ready. Yep. So Let's go. Three, go nuts. Okay, sports fans, here we are again. Now I've capped off the end. I've welded some straps across. That's going to take my actual wheel carrier, which we're going to bolt to this. Too high, bro. Just softly. All right, so something wrong there with your calculation, Dave. But I think we just flip that around and, uh, <laughs> and it'll be at the right height because that's stupid high. The... All right, so after our adjustment, it's riding at the right height. Almost hides the whole thing. It's quite neat, actually. Once we paint all this black, it'll hide all my shitty welding. Good welding. And then oh, slide her out, open her up for me. Come to the side and show them how close it is to the car. Nice angle inside the... Nice custom bend there. Ready? Slider open. I got the little gas strut down the bottom. This is how this looks in the back. And then opening the door. Miles. And then later on, I reckon, actually, Dave, on here, maybe a little latch and we can put a table or something. Or the table can fold down from there. Gold. It's just the right frame as well. It's bolted on. That looks legit, right? And then um, we're just going to put a locating pin yeah, for it, for a closing, pin. locking pin. And then Frank's paint and I don't touch it from then on. We'll paint it and then we're done. <laughs> so it looks over to the left, which it is. So we'll move we'll it push out. it across a little bit. I don't we've think I'm going to get... We've only got that much. Yeah, I'm not going to get it completely center, am I? No. But still, it'll be center -er. The weight is over the, pi the pivoting pin, so that's the main thing. So. Alrighty. Yeah. I love that angle. That little angle, I think, makes it. Don't you think? Yes. <laughs> Just gas it open for me. Just go. <coughs> this is rocking, so.
All right, so now we've put a little license plate temporary holder up there, and I'm going to put a bracket with the license plate light, and then down the bottom, we're gonna do an LED reverse light. Then that's the tire holder, and that's where we're at. We've got to do a locking pin when it's closed, and then paint it up. And I can do the other stuff when I get home. We're at 116, I'm gonna say 117. 117, I'm gonna put this down. And now we're at 90, 99, so yeah. 18 kilos. Oh, that's bending. That's what bending is, badly. What is it bending? Yeah, but I'm 100 kilos. I have no idea. That's oh, that bending the bolt. That was just the bolt. Phew. All right, so this is the wrap up from Dave's garage and the rest of it will be done at home. License plate holder yet to be resolved but that's gonna be the tab. We've got the gas strut on, we've got the recovery hitch on, we've greased the nipples. We've got a little pull latch at the back, pops it open and then it just bang. The wheel's 20 and it was 17 for the frame or something. Yeah. So, 37, let's say it's all 40. The thing was, the other one was 95 kilos, version yeah, one, right? It was. So it was very heavy, like we strained to lift it on and off. We're There's half the me. weight. Yeah, you, you're about half the weight. All right, I'm gonna paint it up when I get home and then we'll check in there. We've made it out to Wellington Dam for the campsite test of my new tow hitch tire rack thing. Pop the latch. Swings out nice with the full weight of the tire. I just painted it black with some of that um, underbody paint. Super simple, still have to fix the number plate thing. And yeah, this year's project 94% done.